Hello, my name is Claire Eglin and I'm from the Extreme Environments Laboratory at the University of Portsmouth. I would like to, to tell you about a recent paper we have had published in Experimental Physiology. Although historically non-freezing cold injury has been a problem for the military, the increased popularity of outdoor recreational activities means that civilians may also be at risk. In this study, we examined whether recreational cold exposure results in cold sensitivity and whether this was then associated with endothelial dysfunction and impaired sensory thermal sensations. 27 volunteers with a range of previous cold exposure participated. Based on the rewarming profile of their foot following a mild cold stimulus, they were then put in either a cold sensitive with slow rewarming or a control group, but were otherwise closely matched. A relationship between reported previous cold exposure and toe skin temperature rewarming following foot cooling was observed. However, cutaneous endothelial function as assessed by the vasodilatory response to acetylcholine was not impaired in cold sensitive individuals. Neither did they have an impairment of their perception of warm or cold stimuli in their hands and feet. The significance of this study is that previous cold exposure may result in cold sensitivity which may indicate the development of a subclinical non-freezing cold injury. Therefore, more research is required to understand the pathophysiology of both subclinical and clinical forms of non-freezing cold injury.